One of my longtime hobbies I've had a lot of fun with is creating design proposals for Federation starships that would be capable of atmospheric flight, uh, which actually the only one that could do that was the USS Voyager. And even then it wasn't really flying, it was just relying on retros. This is one that I started a couple years ago. I backburnered it. Uh, back then a friend had proposed and actually had taped onto it a whole bunch of uh, cylinders representing engine pods. He had them on the wingtips, uh, both there and the uh, back horizontal stabilizers. And I ended up recently deciding I want to honor the principle of just two engines, like in the original Enterprise. This started out as a combination of the disc section of an Enterprise E uh, action toy. P the main body was a kid's jet that I bought years ago and then heavily modified. Uh, the forward swept wings was part of the original design, which one thing, it's one thing that caught my eye about it. Now that I've taken it off the back burner and want to pursue it and finish it, I want to review one of the some of the concepts behind it. When I do these, even though I know it's just you know a model and it's not real, I like to think it through as if it was real. So right here, this section, which was the cockpit of the original toy, um, I've run a paint dipstick all the way through. It's glued in place, so it's very rigid. But what I want to do with that oval is to somehow unite it to the front disc section, cover up the paint stir stick, but what I want that oval to represent is an intake. And people would say, well, why would you want an intake in the vacuum of space? And my proposal is that they say that there's one atom of hydrogen in every cubic yard of so-called empty space. And if you could catch each atom of hydrogen as you're zipping along with this intake, it could fuel an antimatter reactor in the back. So that's my idea. I'm going to go through all the different things I have and see if I have some kind of a material that hopefully would have parallel grooves in it and use it to unite the front disc section, blend it into the oval uh, that was the cockpit, and then when that's done, I want to find a way to paint this in a uniform color so the, the disparity of the components is eliminated because um, the back half is white, the front half is multiple shades of gray, and I've given some thought as to different ways of doing that, and I'd like to preserve, if at all possible, as many of the markings as I can to not lose that look of authenticity. Once it's been painted, I've got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of decals from different starships and other things that I would like to use uh, to then finish it up. The other thing I like to do is when it's all done, I want to copy Jerry Anderson, who did Fireball XL5 and Stingray and the Thunderbirds, and he had a practice of rubbing his models with dirt and then wiping it off to give it an age look so it won't look pristine. I'm thinking of calling this the Enterprise F or, or the Enterprise G, I'm not too sure, but I like the idea of it being way, way in the future. But I think it's the coolest one I've ever come up with, and I look forward to seeing it completed. Bye-bye.